is making his television debut tonight. He is a talented comedian, magician, and spy. It's a pleasure to welcome Joel Hodgson. Joel Hodgson, age 22, Minneapolis, Minnesota, white, human, starting now. All right, will you think of a card? Okay, is this it? That's not it? What was your card? Ace of diamonds. Ace of diamonds? <laughs> okay, this is as close as I could get. How much time have I got left? Five minutes. Okay. I guess we've all got about five minutes. This is what we call in the magic fraternity a candle. What I'm going to do is make the candle change color, but as you all know, before the candle can really change color, he must first believe he can change color. And to do that, I'm going to bring a friend of mine out. Do you remember who we had out last week, gang? Oh, I wasn't here. It's my good friend, the Lizard King, Jim Mo Godzilla. We have a little skit worked out for you. It's an excerpt from the film Godzilla vs. Megalon. <laughs> what is it, big fella? Dad? He's trapped? Under a rock? Down in Dead Rock Canyon? In Tokyo? Okay. okay. Now the Lizard King will scare the candle into believing he's a different color. Okay, to finish the process, I need you, the audience, to blow on the candle on the count of three. One, two, three, blow. <laughs> okay, since we blew on the candle, what color should it be? Since we blew on the candle, what color should it be? Okay, right. Now that I've established the color of the candle is blue, I snap my fingers and it's back to red again. <laughs> Oh, really? The candle's gone. <laughs> oh, sure, these two are a lot of fun to have around the house. But I like to race them. <laughs> okay. Oh, when Harry Houdini was alive, he did a trick that was known as the fake spirit seance. I'd like to recreate that now because Harry's dead. <laughs> Okay, I've set a place for my ghost friends. Um, some breakfast of ghost toasties and evaporated milk. <laughs> Hope this works.
Of course, Harry didn't have a microphone to use like I do, but the same thing can happen if you're not... Okay, the same thing can happen if you're not... Okay, are you getting any of this? Okay, it's not that big of a deal. Why would somebody do a trick with three hands? Well, I've got three hands. Thank you out of all my audiences. I'd have to say you've been the most recent. I understand in addition to your um, many talents uh, displayed, what's the matter? Nothing. Uh, I understand that you uh, are also a ventriloquist. Right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hey. It's my good friend Danny O'Danny. <laughs> Danny loves the minuet, the ballet rouge, and crepe Suzette. But Danny loves to rock and roll, a hot dog makes him lose control. What a wild duet when dummies, identical dummies, are connected by the spine. A genealogist could lose his mind because they're dummies, but they're cousins, and they're connected by this spine. <laughs> Ebony and I believe. Very nice. Tell hey, you what, uh, Joel, we're going to go away for a commercial, but we'll be right back. Joel Folks, we're done. I want to thank you, the studio audience, who are terrific as always. Mr. Joel Hodgson, my thanks to you, sir. Peter Rieger, Monique Van Voren, and her shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul and the band tomorrow, Jane Pauley, Billy Crystal, and staff writer and crime fighter, George Meyer. Good night. <laughs>
Well, they're cordless now. Um, this is one of my inventions. It's the Joel Hodson pocket mohawk. <laughs> now I'd like to do my impression of the invisible man at home. Bring. <laughs> I'd like to do one last stunt for you now, if I would. Um, what, what I usually do is pick a volunteer from the audience to help me out, and the way I used to pick my volunteers was to turn around and throw a ping pong ball over my shoulder, and whoever caught it would come up and help me, but I found many times people were leaving with them. So I'd like to make it a little more permanent tonight, I'm going to throw this lawn dart. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I, re I really need all of your help in the audience tonight to help me out, and I need everyone to turn your heads like this. All right, turn them to your right, and the people at home can turn your TVs on the side. All right, just keep them turned. Keep them turned, you won't be sorry. Hey, you're gonna miss out, now come on. Keep them turned, you won't be sorry. You back here, Joel. Thanks. You, uh, I, I noticed you looked, um, you look a little, a little uncomfortable. Oh, it's my back. Uh, I'll show you. Look at my back, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh! You, uh, weird. I'll show you what it is. It's just a thing I, I do. Can I? It's I wear this under my jacket, and it makes my backbone look two to three times bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, you should be proud. Uh, Joel, now, do you do, uh, you, you do very interesting impressions. Do you have any others you could uh, favor us with? I brought another one along. It's my, oh, I'll show you what I have is a, uh, this is a ordinary unsharpened pencil. Right. And it's my impression of an electric pencil sharpener. That's unbelievable. I'll just keep it in. Yeah. <laughs> from Minnesota, right? Right. Are uh, you a big sports fan back there? All of the uh, hockey, the football? Uh, sure, I go baseball? to that stuff. Yeah. Um, but I had a thing I wanted to bring on. It's an invention. This hat I w made to wear to baseball games. <laughs> and I wear this to ball games. And like, no matter where I have to sit, it feels like I'm right behind home plate. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful device. Joel Hodgson, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Well, we're 
out of time. Joel, thank you very much for being here. Terrific, thanks, as always. Uh, also, my thanks to Ed Newman, and a special thanks to Penny Marshall for taking a few minutes out of her busy schedule to be here tonight. Uh, tomorrow on this program, uh, Rob Reiner will be with us, and dog sled races, folks. Good night. <laughs>
Hey, it's my good friend Danny O'Danny. <laughs> um, sh sure, these two are a lot of fun to have around, but by day they're just a set of ordinary ventriloquist dummies, and at night they become aging children. I'd uh, like to have you on the show and the folks here from your uh, your hometown. You're from Minneapolis, aren't right. you? Do you do you uh, do you invent a lot of the stuff in your act? Right, I build things. Um, when I do the sh show, and this is an, to a, every good comic worth his salt knows how to use a rubber chicken, right? But this is a special rubber chicken because he's reversible. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks kind of funny. Uh -huh. like that. Yeah, sure. And that was your idea. You mm -hmm. invented it. And, oh, another thing is, when I made this, it's a, just a chicken turned inside out with um, a chicken head on it. And this is cut off a chicken. And I took the chicken legs and I put it on this. <laughs> See? Jeez, that's great. You have a really fertile mind. It's amazing. Uh, now, what else? I know you've made some other things. You, you want to show oh, us a couple something. of them? Um, this is a thing pro you'll probably never see again. <laughs> what is that? What are you? <laughs> so, so now you don't you don't have to go into the hospital. You can do it at home. Yeah, that's great. I tell you, give me a second here, Joel. We got to go away, but we'll be right back, folks. Thank you, folks. Our next guest has been with us uh, many times on this program. He's a very, uh, very entertaining man. He will be appearing at the Funny Bone in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, beginning this Wednesday evening. Please welcome comic magician spy Joel Hodgson. Joel! <laughs> Every time I go on late night, that's when I know everything's all right. The sooner the show's over and I'm left all alone, then the sooner I know that I'll soon be going home. <laughs> I, um, I've been working on some things these uh, last month uh, in mis Mystery Science Lab 2000. Um, these sea monkeys were dying. <laughs> But thanks to the miracle of cryogenetics and a micro emulsion process I created in my room, these sea monkeys may someday live to a brighter tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is a new gag I just invented on Saturday. I made it in my parents' garage in Minnesota with my brother Jim and Robert Bruss. It's a gag. Nobody's ever done this before. Don't. I'm not trying to change anything in comedy, but I'm going to remove my head. <laughs> uh, thank you. My head is now completely off, and I'm going to make it reappear now back on my shoulders. Ready? One, two, three! It's fast. Like this flamingo? He's a tissue dispenser. This next stunt is um, a trick where I used to float myself with the aid of a machine. I've worked on it enough, so I don't need to use the machine anymore. I call this effect the Levitron.
<laughs> I'm floating. <laughs> Look at me, I'm floating. Oh, help me. <laughs> this last thing is a trick I call the unknown mammal trick. <laughs> and it's dedicated to my friends in the big house in Minneapolis. all of those things yourself? Yep. It was very, very uh, interesting stuff. Do you have any other? A lot of I use a lot of gizmos. And yeah. Stuff. Well, you, you, okay. you very bright. You seem to be very bright. <laughs> now you do. Do you have other things in there for us? Yeah. This is a thing called Mr. Heliograph. Let's see. It's for sailors. <laughs> hey, beautiful, you want a, us to come back later and pick you up? <laughs> <laughs> It looks like the kind of thing sailors would, would go for. And also, young women, I'm sure, would be taken by that. Yeah. These are for the Olympics. <laughs> Olympic, Olympic Those are classes. nice, yeah. <laughs> um, You've been busy, haven't you? Um, th those of us who aren't sponsors of the Olympics are getting awfully tired of those who are. Sure. <laughs> This is a Swiss Army sub. <laughs> and, this, and this next gag is one I use you with, OK? Oh, I'd love to participate if I could. It, it, it's really more of a bit than a gag. Uh -huh. OK, just put your arm in there. It's okay, a bit, but not like really. That. OK, move, put your fingers out, wiggle them. That's good. Okay. OK, watch real close. I hope this works. All right. Oh. <laughs> In, uh, in the clubs, you're going to Pittsburgh in uh... Pittsburgh um, at the Funny Bone, and then I'm doing the Funny Bone in St. Louis uh, next week. There's a whole chain of Funny Bones, and there's a tunnel connecting them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only as it should be. Joel, nice to see you again. Okay. See you again. I'm okay, sorry, I'm in trouble with my uh... Joel Hodgson, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with Roy Blunt Jr. <laughs> at the end of October in a brand new show called Journey to the Center of Your Mind, featuring his band, The New Joels, a unique and funny performer. Please welcome Joel Hodgson. Thanks. This is a new prototype. It's a micycle. It runs, runs like that. It, I don't really know what it does yet because it's a first prototype and so it's brand new. Uh, this is a thing I invented after I read Marsha Mc, one of Marsha McLuhan's books when he talked about when two medias are crossed, it produces a hybrid that changes the the media, and this is called the wild thing, and it's a vacuum. I hope this works. Wild thing. You make my rugs clean. You make everything. So tidy. In the year 2525, if man 
is still alive. <laughs> if woman can survive. <laughs> wow. So this is a new thing I've worked out too. It's pretty new, all this stuff is. And uh, I don't know uh, what it is because there's been so many things invented, it's hard to tell what it is. <laughs> this isn't a trick, uh, this isn't a TV trick, this is like a magic trick. So. <laughs> This is a brand new thing too. It's about time, it's about space, it's about someone's mind in a very strange place. <laughs> anyway, this one is a box I invented where I can go back in time. Who believes I can go back in time? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm getting ready. I'm about to go back in time. I'm going, I'm back in time. I'm finally really back in time. Now I'm coming back. I'm coming back through time. I think I'm coming back. OK. I'm back. OK. Who believes I went back in time? Joel. Oh, very nice. It's very. You made a lot of this stuff, didn't you? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got to do a commercial. We'll be right back, folks. Very nice.